Islam Tribune, you are watching Superfast 10. I'm Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of today. During his visit to Assam, Union Home Minister Amit Shah inaugurated the first phase of the redeveloped Brahmaputra Riverfront project in Guwahati's Panbajar area on Saturday. The redeveloped riverfront was inaugurated in the presence of Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma. During the event, Shah released fish at the historic Padumpukhuri. In anticipation of the consecration ceremony in Ayodhya, the Assam government announced the closure of all educational institutes, including schools, colleges, and universities across the state. Earlier, it was announced that all education institutes across the state will remain closed till 2.30 p.m. on January 22, 2024. However, the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma later announced that educational institutes would remain closed for the whole day on account of the consecration ceremony. With the consecration ceremony of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya around the corner, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma announced on Sunday that all the meat shops and the slaughterhouses shall remain closed till 4 p.m. on January 22, 2024. While addressing a press conference in Guwahati, Assam CM Sharma also urged restaurants to not serve any non-vegetarian food items till 2 p.m. on the occasion of Pran Pratishtha. In a surprising turn of events, people in Vishwanath have witnessed the sudden closure of vegetable markets in Vishwanath's daily market, which has sparked a confused situation among the buyers. It may be mentioned that the weekly market, which takes place every Sunday, has been closed due to some unknown reasons. As per sources, vegetable vendors who came to the market today have been forced to take back their produce. A recent trip to Arunachal Pradesh's Anjo turned tragic for a group from Assam and led to the death of five members. The group from Assam Steen Sukhya were out on a trip to Anjo when while driving through the mountainous route, the car suddenly fell off the road and into a gorge. The swearing-in ceremony for the newly appointed chairman of the Arunachal Pradesh Public Service Commission, Professor Pradeep Lingfa, took place today at Raj Bhavan in Itanagar. Governor K.T. Parnayak presided over the ceremony administering the oath of office and the oath of secrecy to Professor Lingfa, who secured the position as chairman of APPSC. Union Home Minister Amit Shah announced that the Indian government will restrict free movement at the Myanmar border, similar to measures taken at the Bangladesh border. Speaking during the first batch of the five recently formed Assam Police Commando Battalions, Passing out parrot in Guwahati, the union minister stated that the center is reconsidering the free movement agreement with Myanmar with an aim to secure the border. Jessica Nai Saring, a 10-year-old badminton sensation hailing from rowing in Arunachal Pradesh's Lower Dibang Valley District, has earned a prestigious nomination for the 2024 Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puraskar, formerly known as the National Child Award for Exceptional Achievement, the PMR. BP stands as India's highest civilian honor for children. Seeing no relief in the ongoing weather pattern, the India Meteorological Department issued a red alert on Sunday indicating that dense to very dense fog and cold day to severe cold day conditions are expected to persist over North India for the next four to five days. The IMD further also predicted that cold wave conditions are likely to prevail over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh and North Rajasthan during next three to four days. A 6.5 magnitude quake jol jolted 123 one km northwest of Tarawaka, Brazil. The U.S. Geological Survey said the quake that hit the region on Saturday was epicentered at 7.32 degrees south latitude and 7. 51.51 degrees west longitude. Its depth was 628.8 km. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube, and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.